welcome to another episode of Tried and Tested. Today, we're going to be trying out some interesting instant food. This is an instant self-boiling rice pack that includes everything you need, including distilled water. Like, pfft. You don't even need hot water. You don't need to boil water to make this thing work. It's all in here. Okay, so it comes with this thing on top. It's got instructions like that, which to be honest, I still don't understand. Also comes with a fork! This is your entire meal in one box. You don't have to bring anything. This is insane. So this is the meat. This is the heating pack. And here is the distilled water. So first I'm going to put the ingredients at the bottom. And then open the seal of the rice. And now we open the heating pack. And we put it here like this. I'm going to pour it in here. Activate this heating pack. And then put the rice on top and close it all up. Remember to open the steam opener on the cover. <gasps> What's a steam opener? Okay, I have to open a steam opener on the cover. Honestly, I do not know. I'm assuming it's this. Ow! Ow! Oh my god! Oh my god! Help! What's going on? Ow! It's so hot! Oh my god! Oh my goodness! This is not supposed to happen. Okay, I just... That's not gonna cook, guys. That is not gonna cook. This is really scary. I think I need another tissue box because this might melt. Oh my god. The steam is coming out from everywhere. It shouldn't be coming out. That means it's not sealed. Supposed to be for 15 minutes. 15 minutes is not even closing! I closed the lid in time, but then I belatedly found out that I was supposed to open the steam opener. And I was like, where is this steam opener? So I opened it and then I couldn't close it back in time before that thing started boiling and wow, that's fast and it's super hot. So now I'm holding it in place because it needs to cook for another 15 minutes. Hold on. I'm just gonna... And I want to make sure that all that steam gets caught in there because otherwise it's not gonna boil. If that steam opener had not been opened, this thing would have exploded because the force at which it came out, it just went, It would have just exploded. It would be... So if you do buy this, just note that the steam opener is this tiny little hole on the top. So open that before you seal it. Okay, so it's been about 15 minutes, so it should be cooked by now. Okay. These are the ingredients that are supposed to go on top of the rice. Oh, wow. Honestly, this does not look appetizing to me at all. It's just the colours. <laughs> a little bit strange right now. The picture looks like this. And that's what the food looks like. I mean, I would say most of the time for this kind of food, I never expect the actual thing to look like the picture. But this really looks very different. This is a lot darker than this. I was not expecting potatoes. And I do not see any beans. But you know, the general idea is that it's meat and rice. Okay, let's try this. Oh, that's actually not bad. It's quite tasty. It's a bit spicy. It's slightly tangy. Got a bit of a kick to it. Okay, let me try the... Uh, so I just ate the meat. The meat is actually not too hard. And it's not too soft either. It's not mushy at all. It's still got great texture. And this gravy... is really tasty. It makes you keep wanting to go back for more. It's like a proper hot meal. So I think that that is pretty amazing. Okay, so for the packaging, 10 out of 10. For the food, 8 out of 10. Uh, so I guess that gives it a 9. Yeah. This is an instant mini hot pot for lazy people. It really says lazy. See? This is lan. In Chinese, that means lazy. You just need water. Everything is inside already. And they've got instructions at the back. Wow! Oh my goodness, what is going on here? Wow! This is fantastic! It's like Christmas in a box! Alright, so this is the paste. I think it's like the mala base if I'm not wrong. And then I have to put in the noodle. Oh wow! They showed pictures of vegetables and I absolutely was not expecting real vegetables to come out of there. So we got lotus root. Wow, we have some black fungus. And this one, I'm not sure what this is. Is it potato? Possibly. Okay, and then I'm supposed to put in the sausage. And then egg. 
There's even an egg. Okay, so now I'm supposed to pour in water. Okay, so I'm gonna put the heat pack in. I'm gonna add the water and then put this hot pot on top and close it. So it's starting to steam now and I'm supposed to keep it covered for 15 minutes. So this is how it looks when it's done properly. <laughs> Okay, so we've waited for 15 minutes. Are we ready for some mala hot pot? And there's still some more oil for us to put in, so this is supposed to be the finishing touch. Right, let's let's mix it all up. It really is like hot. The noodles are all cooked. Wow, it's really got that mala colour. Bright red and oily. Now I'm gonna try the noodles. Mmm, good texture. <coughs> oh, that's a bit spicy. Alright, let me try the black fungus. That's so weird, because like as I'm eating the black fungus, I go, oh, that's the right texture, but it also feels a little bit slimy, so I'm not sure. I guess that's because of all the preserving, maybe? Okay, this is very funny, right? Because they're all starting to taste the same to me, just like mala, because this thing is so hot. <laughs> like, my mouth is... My tongue is like burning a little bit. Your tongue goes like a bit numb. Okay, let me try this egg. Yeah, all right, it's not bad. This kind of tastes like, oh, I know. The Taiwanese have that iron quail egg or something like that. So it's kind of like this too, like preserved egg. I think that this is really novel, that you can get mala hot pot uh, in this like disposable thing with um, the heating pack that you can bring around with you. But it's just something about these vegetables that I'm not sure about. Also, I find it a little bit hard to tell which is what because they're so preserved. Like with the packaging and everything, I think it's very innovative and it's a lot of fun. Yeah, I guess a 6 out of 10. This is okay, but I'm not like crazy about it. But it's okay. Yeah. So this is freeze-dried minestrone soup. All you need to do is add some boiling water and you get a piping hot bowl of soup, including veggies. You don't get much like nutritional information, it's just minestrone soup with broccoli. I think they're quite proud of this. <laughs> I would be too, how do you put broccoli into instant soup? I want to see this. Oh, this does not look like food. It looks like some sponge thing. So we're going to try putting the water in. Oh, there really is a broccoli in there. It's like a flower. This is amazing. There is truly a whole broccoli in here. It definitely tastes like minestrone soup. It tastes good. It does not taste artificial. I'm going to try the star of the show. <laughs> the broccoli! Mmm! <laughs> the texture is still there. Obviously not super crunchy like a fresh one, but you heard that it was still crunching. There was a little bit more chewiness in the texture. I really cannot believe this. This is so good. I would say that as an instant soup is very impressive, especially because of that broccoli, which I have said like 10, this is the most times I've said broccoli ever. This is really good. I would give this like an 8 out of 10. This is an instant cup noodle, regular one, but with a very interesting flavour. It's honey and cheese, as well as jalapeno oil. This sounds amazing. And it is Korean. Wow, they really like their honey and cheese, eh? So this is a dry type of cup noodle. So we're going to cook the noodles first. So now, we wait. Okay, we poured out the water. I am going to pour in the seasoning. Okay, let me try. Mmm. Wow, that's really yum! And my mouth is burning from the oil. It's so good! Oh wow! It's got the savoury, it's got the sweet, and also the spicy. It's like everything in this thing. Oh, that's so good. Yeah, okay, amazing out of 10. It's just like, it's amazing. The cheese, like even though you can't really fully taste it, it does add that like creamy, sticky texture to it, which is such a nice compliment to all the sharper flavours. I feel like it balances really nicely. Like, if you did this and then you added your own cheese on top of this, ugh, like, whoa! For a cup noodle, I've never had something that tasted as unique as this. And in an instant, we have come to the end of the episode. <laughs> okay, if you haven't already done it, please go and download the Click Network app because you can watch the videos one month before they come onto YouTube. Till next time, go be beautiful!